friends, welcome again. And this is my new project, University Management System. And I have developed this project in PHP and MySQL. The version for the PHP I'm using is the PHP version 7, and the MySQL version is 5.6. Also, I am using the MySQL I for connecting the database uh, with MySQL. MySQL I is the PHP MySQL connector plugins, right? Also, I am running this project on the ZAMP server, but if you have web server, then you can also configure and run this project on the web server. Right. For uh, uh, front-end side, I am using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, some of the jQuery library also. I have used like uh, creating of the sliders, integration of the form validations, integration of the calendars, okay, creating drop-down menus. I have used the jQuery plugins, right? So this is all about the technologies which I have used for developing this project. Okay, so this is a mini project developed in PHP and MySQL, you can tell it. PHP and MySQL mini web DBMS project, right? So this is a DBMS project because it's a database management system. Functionalities operations available inside this project because there is a database and you are updating and retrieving the data base using the PHP, right? So this is a mini DBMS project as well as the uh, web-based PHP MySQL project, right? So let's start with the functionality go through. So this is the home page of the project. You can see this is a simple SOAR home page, right? So if you want to change the content or if you want to change the image, then you can just replace that image or you can change it from the HTML pages. There is nothing dynamic on this page. This is the about page. From uh, about page means it's a static information about the about page, about camp, uh, university management system. And if you want to change the content of this, you can also change it, right? This is a login page. This is a totally dynamic page. And if you don't have the user ID and password, then you will not be able to log inside the system and you will not be able to perform any type of administrative operations inside this project, right? So this the user ID is admin and password is test. This is a contact us page. So this is a static contact us page. I am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database. Even I am not sending any type of email and SMS from this page, right? So I'm logging inside the system using the admin and password test. So once you click on the uh, login, then this dashboard you will get. So this is the administrative panel where admin can perform the operations, right? So this is the admin. So these operations is also available here, right? So this is the dashboard and you can also jump on the page from this link too, right? This is the ad student. From where you will be able to add student, these all fields you need to enter and those uh, student's details will be saved into the database. This is the add course from where you will be able to add the course of the universities and uh, those course will be saved into the database again. This is the add fees, the fees of the student. The, this both of the drop down is containing uh, the value from the database, right? So if uh, if you have added thousand students, then you will get the thousand students here. If you Right, so you can enter the fees amount and these all details and submit it and these details will be saved into the database. This is the add attendance from where you will be able to add the attendance of the students, right? So uh, just enter the details and just save it and it will be saved into the database also, right? This is the report part from where you will be able to get the, all of the uh, student records. So these uh, five students we have added, right? So these are the five students, right? And uh, if you want to add more, you can add any number of reports. You can search it from this field from here, right? Like this one. This is the real time search, right? Even you can edit and delete it also. Edit. And if you want to edit it, then you can edit it as well as if you want to delete it, just delete it. Because there are five students. If I am deleting it, then there will be four students. One, two, three, four students is available, right? So one student has been deleted. This is the student listing. So from where you will be able to see the all of the students in this format and you can see the details. Right. So this is the details of the student. If you want to see then view fees, you will be able to see the fees of the students as well as view attendance. You can see the attendance of the students here, right? So this is the student listing. This is a course report. From where you will be able to see all of the courses which you have added from the front end panel. And this is the fees report all of the fees which you have taken from the students and this is a attendance report. This is a full attendance report of all students, right? You can search the students from here also. So you will be able to see the attendance of that Harsha Grawal only, <coughs> right? This is the attendance report. This is all students, right? So same as the student listing page, this is my account from where admin will be able to update his account details, right? 
this is the change password from where admin will be able to change his account password and he will be able to uh, log inside the system using his updated password and this is a logout so once admin log out from the system the session will be destroyed and none of the internal keys will be accessed right let me show you so these menus are different if i log out then the above menu is different right so if i log in then above administration menu is coming if i log out then above administration menu is not coming so this is the uh, session driven menu all right it works according to the session so these all things i have developed this in, in this project so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to requirements i will add all of those functionalities which you need in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest videos of the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much